and this fight will determine who of the two fighters will go to the highest division. So, first fighter tonight is Sevalon Lassa from Baya team. He's originally born in Siberia and relegated to Moscow, training with Ivan Vasiliev and Sergei Okolov. He's a young and talented fighter. His weight is around 85, 87 kilograms. I don't have the actual information about his, his weight at, at this moment. So the first fighter is of Sevalot Vlasov. And his opponent. And the second fighter is Mikhail Margulis from Israel. that I have Ilya here because uh, I know uh, a lot about Michael Margulis. I know him personally. He's a very good fighter. And uh, I assume that Ilya knows a lot about uh, Sevalot Lasov because they are all from the same club. Yeah, Sevalot is a very good fencer, to be honest. And uh, above it, he's participating in 5 versus 5 fights as a part of Bayern 1 team. So uh, he has some very good skills in wrestling. But so we can tell the same about Margulis. He is both wrestling. Yeah, I, first of all, Michael Morgulis has a tremendous amount of experience. Uh, he is one of the most active fighters in the world, and I can see him on the tournaments from Western Europe to to Russia, to Israel, everywhere. Everywhere I can see Michael Morgulis. Yeah, it's very hard to find a tournament which Morgulis is misses. He's participating in all events you can ever find. And what's special is about Mikhail Margulis is that he never stops, he never gets tired, he has all the time long a lot of energy. And he always positive, always positive, but without dependence on the results of the fight. And by the way, Mikhail Margulis will uh, join me tonight also for the last two fights and we will ask him uh, his impressions about this fight. Uh, yes, my friends, I will soon uh, stop the conversation with you and go to prepare for my fight and Magulis will replace me on the microphone. I hope you will have a chance to share your impressions as well. Sure. <laughs> Just to remind to our spectators, uh, this is a full contact fight, so all kind of uh, hits are allowed. You can strike with your weapon, with your fist, with your elbows, with your knees, with your shield. Uh, each successive hit will get you one point, and uh, this, this, this so-called destabilizing hit, the especially powerful hit on your opponent, will get you two points. Yes, if you manage to bring your opponent on the ground, you have 10 seconds to serve hits on him and score points. In addition, uh, a clean throw, like takedown to the ground, gives additional free. 
uh, if it's uh, with amplitude three. Yep. If it's without, I think it's about two. The fight is carefully absorbed by the uh, members of the Marshals Committee. You can see them in uh, ye yellow surcoats. These are professionals and uh, they look very carefully, so all the participants uh, follow the regulations and follow the rules. So we have three rounds, three minutes each, and there's 90 seconds uh, between rounds uh, rest time. Very nice takedown. And we have a first takedown, but also the head judge, Ivan Vasiliev, he is counting uh, just because it is not allowed to stay on the ground for too long. I'm not sure if anybody uh, from, from uh, any of fighters uh, was able to save hits while they've been on the ground. I've seen it, not seen it. Uh, important to mention that. Morgulis is using a shorter but more heavier falchion and uh, Selrod is using a, a kind of heavy long sword, I think. Yeah, o all weapons have, uh, need to pass a weapon check with uh, specific rules about the balance and length and weight of course. Yes, of course, and the, one of the main points, uh, all the weapons are blunt. So all the weapons are checked that they are blunt, so we're not using uh, sharp weapons in WMFC. Yeah, sure, otherwise uh, amount of fighters will, will quickly... <laughs> quickly end up. Yeah, end up. Same rules goes for clinches, so it is not allowed to stay idle for too long. So the fighters have to be active all the time. So fighters have nine time, pure time of fighting. They are, of course, one of the strategies is to save your power in order to have enough energy for all three rounds. So we see a lot of clinch work again. So as you can see, some wrestling uh, moves are, are allowed, but all kind of uh, submission moves, also the chokes are not allowed here. Oh, very nice hit. So the back strike with the weapon. How it's going, he go back flip? Straight. Yeah. But it's a really tricky one, with the helmet that is blocking your vision. It's not an easy strike even you're not wearing a helmet. Sure, and also it's a, all the time long a huge surprise for your opponent if you land such kind of strike. So the first round is over. So on your opinion, Ilya, who is the uh, most active who has won this round? I think uh, the strategy of Sevalot is, uh, since he took a longer sword, to try to work on distance and have hits on distance. And Magulis is working his usual way by moving forward, pushing the opponent to the list and uh, have more work in clinch. Yeah, here the fighters are relying on what they can do better. For example, if you have a better physique, if you know this, then you can push your opponents, exhausting him, and then uh, planning to do with him later in the rounds. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I would say the first first round was to some degree equal. Well, the first round seems like fighters get to know each other, so they were a bit careful. So, uh, 90 seconds are passing through. It's actually not much time to uh, recover. So the supporters of the fighters are helping them, checking their equipment. 
because the condition of the equipment is very important. If you get your equipment broken or loose during the fight, you will get a penalty. Here comes the ring on the list, uh, showing uh, that the second round will begin very short. The referee on the list is Ivan Vasiliev, who is the original author of the rules. He's, he's the most experienced person here, as he's one of the uh, founders of this uh, category and this discipline. I have not seen him fighting a pro fight for a long period of time, actually. And it is important to mention that Ivan Vasilev, he's a fighter himself, so he understands uh, how the fighters are behaving, what should they do, what they should do not do, and so on. So, second, second round beginning. So, just a quick reminder, we have um, Mikhail Margulis from Israel against Sevalet Vlasov from Russia. Mikhail Margulis is in blue and white. Mikhail Vlasov wearing a white and red surcoat. It's, it's again the situation where fighters were not to serve any hits on the ground. Maybe there was one knee served. However, there should be a successful takedown from the uh, for, for Vlasov. Yes. Very important to mention that fighters are not allowed to kick, like to serve football kicks on an uh, opponent which is on the ground. You're allowed to use your knees, but not your feet. You can strike with your weapon, with your shield, yeah. but not with your legs. We're in the middle of the second round and the fighters are a bit tired. We should consider that uh, the armor of the fighters wearing from 20 to 30 kilos and even to move in s with such weight uh, for such a long time is a bit exhausting. So the referee get the fighters on the middle of the list just to avoid the potentially dangerous situation. Uh, one of the fighters, uh, Sibylat Lasov, he was uh, on the chain and could choke himself. So therefore, referee took a decision to put them on the middle of the list. Oh, amazing! Yes, as Ivan said, the weight of fighters is a little bit below 90 kilos plus the armor. And look, and look how they are moving. And this is the end of the second round. Still a lot of energy, still a lot of stamina. Yeah, and another successful takedown. Every move counts. Every hit counts. So for the fighters at the end of the rounds, uh, each of the successful moves will be counted by the judges and uh, added to the end result. Ten seconds to the end of the round. So now they have another 90 seconds to recover. Each of these two fighters are struggling to get in the highest division of the WMFC. So for both of them the stakes are quite high. 
Oh, uh, Michael Mangus is even even able to put down his helmet. So he's quite sure that he can quickly put his bag on. We're waiting for the decision of the judges. We, we are not, that was the second round. So we have three of them? Yes, we, and we have three of them. Okay. You're the fighter. <laughs> you know better. And here's the reply of, the, of, of that takedown, yeah. It's very, very important to mention that the support of uh, Mikhail Margulis is Atom Gorinov, who is later on this evening having his fight with uh, Bogomil Masnichak from Great Britain. Yeah, this is the good thing about our sport. So, uh, despite the facts that, that people are fighting for the victory, uh, in the real life, actually, they're really good friends. And we have a final round. We have a lot of uh, fans of several of us of here. Yes, and remember that uh, Vlasov is actually living in Moscow. There's a, lo a lot of people know him. And of course, we are in Russia and people are supporting their fighter. I think fighter started to move a little bit slower. And another takedown. Now, now people cheering for Michael Margolis because a lot of people know him as well. <laughs> yeah, Margolis is very famous, uh, to be honest, and. Uh, HMB will. So, one of the rules of the pro fights that uh, you can't hang on on the uh, chains and you can't hold up to the chains. Very good knee work from uh, Michael Margulis. And one more. So what do you think? I don't think we will have a fourth round. Here comes the true, true test of your fitness. Are you able to stay on your feet after all these exhausting fights? By the way, there's a very important difference in rules between uh, bullet fights and pro fights. In pro fights, you are allowed to hold your sword with your left hand, with your under shield hand. Which reflects on the way I, how people are making the takedowns. I think the main difference between booger fights and pro fights is that in booger fights nobody counts any points. Yeah, sure, they, they just, they don't serve hits, they serve pain. And another takedown. And another successful takedown. Where do, you, where do they have so much power? And we have a series of strikes on lying opponent, which uh, gives uh, several additional points. 
I think with the last takedown, Sevalot has an advantage in the first round. So we're waiting for the results. I think both fighters think about no, please, no for round. <laughs> So the decision is taken. We have the secretary right in left of us. We <clears throat> might have some insights, but we will not share it. So 45, 43. Michael Margulis won. And the Michael Margulis is the winner of this fight. Was he showing a heart or a hole? Was he showing a heart or a hole? I bet this is hard. Yeah, but it's a big heart of Michael Margolis. It was a hard victory, but he definitely deserves it. Yeah. Besides participating in fights, Mikhail Margulis is also on a yearly basis organizes events in Israel and invites the fighters from all over the world. And again, the first winner of this night event is Michael Margulis. First title fight won by him. So, our next fight. Our next fight will be a lightweight. Lightweight. Or not? I'm not sure, but still, they, we are going from the lightweight to heavyweight division, so it's supposed to be lightweight fighters. We have, a, we have a pause here. Ivan Vasiliev is gathering the judges on the side of the list. Oh, this is surprising information. We have, we have the judges are arguing about something just inside of us. Yeah, it looks like they will have another run. It seems that they are still counting the points for the first fight. That will be really surprising if they uh, change something. Yeah, at, at least they had some time right now to recover and now I, I don't believe they already put the armor down. Yeah, they are experienced fighters for them to put the armor again it's like a matter of seconds but still. Well, if you are that tired, usually you just lay down on the floor and you try to recover at least 10-15 minutes. After this acrobatics given for us by Michael Margulis, I'm not sure he's lying on the floor. <laughs> Maybe. Итак, друзья! So there is a bit, bit of confusion here. 
And the announcer invites yeah, Michael Morgulitz and Sevil Vlasov again to the list. So it's still something undecided between these two fighters. It's actually very bad uh, when things like that happen because of uh, some mistakes on uh, in judge team, in Marshall's team. So is Selo Lasso coming out? And he has not his breast time on him. Well, now we're waiting for Michael Margulis. So will they have a fourth round or not? That's a surprising turn. I hope to see a fourth round. Usually on this level of the events, uh, we don't have such mistakes, but sometimes it happens. Yeah, precisely. Everybody uh, on the martial teams are human, and of course we have space for human mistakes. And it's very real that uh, the referee catch this out and correct the judge. Yes, again, I know it personally because on the Battle of the Nations, I'm responsible for the Secretariat and the results of the tournaments. So yes, sometimes these mistakes happen, but on a real rare occasion, as the secretaries and marshals, they, uh, uh, they are put through a very hard training just to be here, just to be allowed to participate in this type of event for any marshal or any secretary is a really, like, there is a heavy qualifications for them as well. You yeah, have to sure. go a very serious training. Sure. 